hindi pa kasi daw yung marami. Jesus. 
more Amen. Good mga tatay sa Next. We must love Jesus and serve Him. Verse John 3.18 Because the rule of us in words only, but also in things. Verse John 3.18 says, This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us and we all today. Di hata yan, hata mas na hata yan. 
walang pabayaan ng pag-aaral. Dapat na, pag nalilin mo nung dalilin sa inyo kay Kristo, dapat tumataas ka ang rin mo rin. Tama. Kaya sa mga sagot. Dapat na, ginagawa ko yung tamaang bahay mo. Taas yung karya. Dapat lalo mo pinakamata sa ako, lalo mo nalilin mo parang masara. Amen. Para hindi ka pinitersibil. Pero kung ginagawa mo na yung pinitersibil ka pa rin, magpatuloy ka lang. Magpunas yun ang pagsibil. Amen. Isang araw, ano mangyayari? Ang buong pamilya ko ay sasama sa iyo sa hita ng Jesus na rin siya. Amen! The church of Jesus is the one who loves the name of God. We must love Jesus even in the midst of trials and persecutions. Sabi ng Lord to Peter, John 21, verse 15 and the following verses. Hindi lang na ilagay eh. John 21, verse 15 and the following verses. Peter, do you love me more than your profession? More than the attack of the enemy. Because in that time, they are receiving great persecution at that time. Do you still love me? Despite of great attack of great persecution. And you know, you see that in Pedro, that si Jesus is the one who may nagsabi sa kanya, hindi ba kasama ka ni Jesus? Saan niya? No, 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 no. Hindi, kasama ka kanya eh. Parehas na kayo ng tono eh. No, 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 no. Hindi. You know, Jesus, Peter denied Jesus Christ. Because he is afraid of persecutions. The Bible says, Apostle Paul says, there must not be in that word. He is afraid of persecution. Apostle Paul said, They must let me. He is afraid of persecution. He is afraid of trials and sufferings. He is not attending anymore. He is not serving the Lord anymore. He is not joining me anymore in missionary journey, in our missionary journey, because he is afraid of persecution. You know, I'm happy for you. My prayers will go with you continually. You know why? Because despite of persecutions and trials and testings of life, you are here. Amen. God bless you. And God bless you more. Alam mo, ang isa mo na nangalami ko ay nasa iyo. Nasa kabila ng marami trials, persecutions, and sufferings, nandito ang marami. Amen. 
And I'm glad wala ang itap sa TMC. Amen? Ang TMC ay ang may itap sa amin. God is good! And all the time! Praise God. Kaling natin, we must like Jesus even in the midst of problems and persecutions. And we like Jesus more and more. We must like Jesus more and more. The vision of this material says, Praise all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Undying love. Ang sabi, undying love. Your life for Jesus must not die. Your life for Jesus must not decrease. But rather grow and more and more. Amen. Grow more and more. Increase it. Verse, ano sa dalit? Ano? Not dying or decreasing, but continuous and growing. Yan. The greatest thing in all my life is serving and loving Jesus. Dapat malaki ng malaki yung pinibigay mo. Amen? O three times verse verse. Malaki ng malaki. Hindi pa kukuti na kukuti. Dapat mataas ang mataas ang pagliligo mo kay Lord. Amen? Tawa ba ko dito? Huwag kita nahawag ka ngayon ang anagkasan na hindi ka kumaya na hindi ka makapagbigay ngayon ang anagkasan na hindi. Oo. Ikaw din na nahawag ako, hindi ka hindi. Sipin mo. Ikaw din na nalami. Di ba mas kasama ng alay mo rin na nagbigay sa Panginoon, di ba? Oo. Revelation 2, 4, and 5 says, for all this time, Yet I hold this against you, you have forsaken the love of God. Sabi ni Lord, di mo na ako mahalin. Nalalawin ka na. Hindi ka na tumatan yung aglihin na nang pinibigay. Hindi ka na naglihin mo na tayo mo ng eskusan sa mga daliwas. Consider how far you have fallen. Tignan mo kung gano'n ka na ang saan ka na nalalawin. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and bring you to last and last place. You know, many Christians and many workers of God are in need of revival. The revival of love of God. Amen po ba? Yes, we are singing and dancing for who? To who? For who? The song says, and I will sing for you. That's so cute. Lift my hands and praise to you. Next, I know you need that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Hindi ka mahalin, hindi ka rin mahalin. Hindi ka na umahalis, hindi ka na mahalin ko. Walang nangyayari, stand up. Pag ang tubilis na stand na, ano ang nangyayari? Bumabaho. Pag ang tubilis stand na, ano ang nangyayari? Pinamumugaw na, lamo. Kiti-kiti. Kinakailangan, ano yan? The water was flowing. Nagpuflota pa siya. Para hindi pinamumugaw na nila. At lakaw na ang mga pangit na isek. Yan ang titapat ang ating pag-ibig. Amen. Ito ang mahal mo dito. Pataas ang pataas sa Lord. Kaya dito, Jesus, people of my calling and people of destiny, tinatawagan tayo ng Lord na mahalin natin si Lord. Amen. Nang patuloy at pataas ng pataas. At dapat ang maging greatest desire na ating puso is to love Jesus more. Ito ang mahal mo dito. Why do we have to love the Lord Jesus Christ and serve Him? Because He died for us. He personalized us. He became a ransom for us. Ibig po ba? Bakit natin kinakailangan ang mahalin sa'yo? Eh kasi ang ating isang mahalo sa akin at nagliling ng katahin. At ano ang sabi ng Panginoon? Kung titignan ninyo yung Deuteronomy chapter 6 na yun, kung titignan ninyo yung Deuteronomy chapter 6 na yun, sa mga dulo ng mga talata, hindi na natin ibubos. Masayang mga 
Thank you.